Hey everybody, I wanted to do a video today. I My harp was supposed to come yesterday, so I don't have anything to practice. So I wanted to make this video with the extra spare time that I have. And really, a very powerful... I mean, there's a guy in the industry, I'm not going to say a name, who basically charges $500 to $2,000 to teach this at his seminars. And this is how to write real goals. And I made a video on my YouTube channel a little while back but I didn't really go into the detail or a lot of people didn't really find it because it was just when we were starting off. So I, I wanted to dive into this again and really, really share by far, you know, when I was at the physical age of 18, this was something that I learned that allowed me to go on and self-improve through 30 jobs to get to where I'm at now where, you know, I'm basically traveling the world and I laugh because I am so I am beyond grateful, and I am beyond blessed. And self-improving through 30 jobs to get to the international, you know, nonprofit owner, business owner, you know, author, fiction, nonfiction that I am, you know, where I now trade full time and run my businesses full time. And I'm very grateful that I embraced this one habit, or this one. I I became aware of this very, very powerful concept early on in life. And I want a lot of our younger souls, you know, maybe that are just getting ready to graduate high school or just starting off, you know, their um, their lives, to really embrace this. Because this is, this is something very powerful. And there are still, without, I'm not condescending, I'm just saying, there are a lot of 30 and even 40-year-olds that are still working at Walmart that need to embrace this idea. This is very, very powerful very powerful so this is for everybody and you know guys when, when when people think of goals what do you think of right if i were to ask you right now to create a goal for your health or to create a goal for your relationships you know romantic or professional if i were to ask you to create a goal for your career what would it look like and a lot of people you know they're going to pull out you know their notebook and they're going to say you know um Okay, I want to increase my sales, I want to lose weight, and I want to, you know, um, maybe, you know, go on more dinner dates together with my, uh, my, my date. And these are not goals. And I find it amazing when I hire freelancers nowadays, you know, I've worked with hundreds of freelancers over the years, and right away I just delete an offer, right, right away when I see this. I have seven years of experience. I have 15 years of experience. I hit the delete button right away. And this is why. Guys, you could be doing something for 20 years, 30 years of your life, but if you have not been writing real goals or actually accomplishing, accomplishing things along the way, then you, I'm gonna be brutally honest, you are on year number one or two for the 10th or 15th time. Let me repeat that. You are on year number one, two, or three for the 15th, 10th, or even God, 50th time. This is how, like I said, in eight years, I've been able to not only travel the world, but also I'm very grateful to, like I said, self-improve through 30 jobs, and I don't even want to go down the list, guys. I, I'm, I'm, you get the point. Guys, you have to write real goals. Okay, so how do you write a real goal? And I kind of touched on this in my other video on how to obtain true value. And in that video, without diving into another 20 minute video, just for you can connect the two dots, right? Connect A and B. True value is obtained when you truly understand and love yourself from within, right? You let go of all these religious, and societal dogmatic masks, right? Oh, Christian, Muslim, that's not who you are, right? I'm talking about truly understanding and loving yourself from within to where you don't have to wear a dogma mask to cover up your insecurity or you don't have to do what society or religion that's owned by the same family tells you to do. That's so fucking fake, it's disgusting. Instead, I don't censor my videos, by the way, guys. If I make you cry, then I'm happy because I would rather make you cry with the truth 
the brutally honest truth than let you go on living a lie. But at the end of the day, it's your decision. So when you decide to truly understand and love yourself from within, right? An Olympic gold medalist said it perfectly, right? For all of you guys who haven't heard it, an Olympic gold medalist said, there are 55,000 people alive right now, right now, that could be doing what I do, but better, but better. Kobe Bryant said, I'm not going to be the next Michael Jordan. I'm going to be the next Kobe Bryant. Guys, we are all, you are, you are a 400 trillion to one miracle. You have higher faculties, imagination, perception, intuition, willpower, and reason that none of the other creatures on this planet have. You have the ability to think, right? I, I, don't be Fred. The monkey. We are not monkeys, right? Don't let one family that owns all of the news, media, and religions, man-made, that are actually thinking, <laughs> don't let them control you and be Fred that just runs around reacting, 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 reacting. No, no, no. Be yourself, a human being. Let the wheels in your head turn for themselves. Start thinking and responding to life. Start designing, designing your own life by design through your higher faculties, imagination, perception, intuition, memory, and free will, or the ability to freely focus where you want. And above all, the ability to reprogram your subconscious mind. You can think and reprogram your subconscious mind. Tell your soul and your body who you want to evolve into if you're willing to put in the time. And this is how you obtain true value, right? You, you, you put in the time and you personal develop, right? You, you grow more of your character. You grow more of your unique talents and gifts like the Olympic gold medalist and Kobe Bryant was talking about, right? You put in the time. Stop memorizing a bunch of worthless religious, religious propaganda. Put in the time. Be a real man. Be a real woman and embrace yourself. You are a 400 trillion to one miracle. You are not here by chance. We are all created in the creator's highest image, a.k.a. all of the creative higher mental faculties, the creative mind I just told you about that we all have, not just this one family that owns all of the media and propaganda. We all have a creative mind and the ability to reprogram our subconscious mind in that creative mind. And you can go watch videos on those. Those are long lessons. I don't have time to teach you the creative mind that separates the human beings from the animals. But guys, when you discover yourself from within, like I said, that's how you obtain true value, right? You actually build your unique talents. You build your unique gifts. But first, first you got to be honest. You got to let go of all these dogmatic masks, right? And truly understand and truly love yourself from within for who you are. And then you have your starting. It's like... It's like, when you, you, for all of you guys who play Pokemon, right? I played Pokemon back in the day. Or Yu-Gi-Oh. Yu-Gi-Oh was a really popular one. Or when you first download an app on your phone, you have, the, you have like a starting pack, right? You have the starter pack of Pokemon cards. You have the starting level one of your video game. Guys, we, there is computer coding, computer coding written in the fabrics and essence of the D DNA or in the universe, in all of life, there are computer coding. These algorithms that are subconscious mind, you and I, our subconscious minds program all of these DNA coding algorithms in the universe and all of life. Like I just said, with our creative mind. And when we start, we are born as a 400 trillion to one miracle. We have our starting, like our starter pack, level one, right? But you have to embrace and stop trying to pretend like you're, you know, a Kardashian or whatever the... F no, 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 no. Okay, you have to truly, truly understand and look inside and then you discover your level one. And you go from there. Now, when you get to that point, and, and guys, young people and people that are just starting their lives, don't ever, ever, ever underestimate the power of character character right what, what is character character is who you really are it's not just personality it's 
Character is who you really are on the inside. Don't ever underestimate the value of character. And how do you improve your character? How do you truly improve your value as a person? And like I said, I don't want to go into another 20-30 minute video on, on value. And I'm about to, about to dive into how to write real goals, but it's very important we understand this, this part first, point A, before we go to point B. And your character, guys, I meet so many young people or even 30, 40 year olds that are just starting their independent careers as freelancers, which is what, guys, I, I was crying, the sky is falling. 70% of the workforce is freelancers. 70% of the workforce is turning into freelancers. Years ago. And I meet these new, I meet these freelancers, guys, and don't make this mistake, that have so much talent. They have so much talent, and they just don't have any character. They don't have any character, right? And, by, and guys, build your integrity. Build your integrity, build your honesty, build your values of righteousness, of goodness, that align with the vibration of love that flows through all of life in the universe. And you do this by truly understanding and loving yourself first. And then you want to give, right? Because you, you're, you're not going to make it far. You know, like we just mentioned, Kardashian's husband, Kanye West, the guy had to file for bankruptcy. And he's singing in his songs about, while he's drugged out on cocaine and other drugs, about how powerful he is. And, of course, he's not going to sing about all the fake views and fake likes and all that shit he buys. But, anyways, long story short, he had to file for bankruptcy. Guys, don't be a Kanye West. Don't be a Kardashian that's going to be filing for bankruptcy. Build true value. Put in the time. Put in the time and build true value. Like I said, perf perfect your unique talents and gifts like the Olympic gold medalist said and put in the time and build your habits. Listen to subliminal affirmations for personal development. Build your character. And then you will be able to gain so much valuable, so much valuable experience. Not just experience, but valuable experience with actual meaningful accomplishments. And life, life we just talked about will always reward you tenfold for the value that you have to offer life. Don't complain about wage equality, guys. Be strong, toughen up, and do something about it. You know? I'm not going to bullshit you. I still work 100-hour weeks while still listening to, you know, while still self-improving. And a lot of people are like, well, I don't even, like, what do you have left to improve, man? There's always something. And this is how you keep increasing your value to where you have more to offer life. And now we, now that you understand this, right? And the opposite the opposite are these sleazy snake salesmen. Don't be a sleazy snake salesman. I went through the corporate gauntlet of 30 jobs. A lot of those jobs were corporate sales jobs where instead of teaching you how to build your, right, your character over time and put in the time to actually really improve on the inside, they try to teach you all of these sleazy snake salesman tactics, right? How to play games with people, how to conceal information, how to try to outsmart and outplay the other person. And it's like these Ty Lopez's and Gary's that want to sit there and brag about how big their businesses are and how big they are and how their parents' old wine money, you know, turned them into a one-hit wonder, right? Or how they got big off of a one-hit wonder. No wonder why. They haven't spent any time actually improving themselves. True value. They have no true value, so they sit there and try to learn all these sleazy snake salesman tactics. Don't be that person, guys. You're going to... 20, 30 years be just as miserable, just as miserable and empty as they are on the inside. Don't be those people, guys. Like I said, the vibration of love and or the vibration of miracles, the vibration of creation that vibrates through all of the stars, all of life, all of the galaxies, the vibration of love, unadulterated vibration of love. When you truly understand, aka mental understanding is what? Love. When you truly understand yourself, you then love yourself, right? That's what true love is. Even a 13-year-old understands when you truly understand somebody, you truly love them. So when you truly understand and love yourself from within, you're then able to connect to the vibration of love. And when you understand, right, what this one family is not teaching, you know, 
of course, you know, the masses, uh, that's becoming more and more popular, thankfully, and people, billions of people are awakening, but you understand how the higher faculties work, the, you know, the subconscious mind and the ability to freely think, right? When you combine these two together, your creative mind and who you truly are on the inside and you are connected to the vibration of love, oh my God, there is nothing you cannot do. And when you fail, when you fail and don't succeed, right, you, you love it. I love, I, I, it doesn't happen a lot. And I'm not boasting because, or let me, let me correct myself. Back in the day, I would love failure. I wanted to fail every fucking day. And it was because I loved myself. I wanted to improve. I knew failure was the only way to improve. And these people, these sleazy snakes, snake, snake salesmen, they go around, right, like, I gotta be the top dog, my ego, who I'm trying to pretend to be with all my sleazy game, game, you know, games that I play and sleazy snake salesman tactics. You know, I gotta hold my ego up, and I can't fail. I am perfect. I can't fail. I'm Kim Kardashian, you know. Guys, when you truly understand and love yourself from within, you stop being fake. And you, you become real, right? And you understand and love yourself. You connect to this vibration of love. And you understand how the creative mind works, guys. You love failure. You want to improve who you really are, right? For you can then really be someone that's really fucking improved. That has real value. True value, right? And this is why I don't care. And this is how you stop caring about the opinions of random people. Right? I don't care about some random person. I don't take anything personal. What I do do... What I do is I don't take, if I come across somebody that's just, you know, toxic or grumpy, or I say a weak person, right, they're weak, they're just crying like a little baby, I don't take it personal. I just say, hey, you know, I don't have time for this. I don't have time for this. Goodbye. I don't sit there and argue with them. I don't sit there and argue with a fool to where I become a fool. And when you truly understand and you truly love yourself, you, you just stop caring. You don't have to impress strangers with your gold watches or your, Lamborghini, your Lamborghinis. And my point, though, the most important point, and this is, a, this, is, this is a very powerful message I had to include. You become fulfilled. You become fulfilled. When you truly understand and love yourself from within, you are able to give, give to life. And like I said, through the vibration of love and your 400 trillion to one value that you perfect over time that you give to life life will not life will reward you financially with prosperity but that's not the objective what you will feel is joy and you will feel alive you will feel alive that's what joy is i i don't have to drink i never drink i never smoke and I feel, I feel good. I feel fulfilled. I feel joy because I'm actually, I truly understand and love myself to where I actually am alive with all of life that's vibrating on the vibration of love, the most powerful unadulterated frequency. And I understand how the creative mind works. I'm creating my own dream or my own reality that honors the 400 trillion to one miracle I am that you need to start doing if you want to feel fulfilled. You want to be alive. This is how you connect to life. It's so easy to let go of the past when you're always growing and developing. The only thing, only people that are going to try holding you back are people that are not growing and developing. They're dead. And that's where they deserve to be. But when you truly understand and love yourself, you become alive. You let go of all the dead. You then are able to give. Give to life. And you're able to then receive joy and fulfillment. That's what joy is. Joy is life. Gratitude, gratitude, mental, right? Every, every, every thought, every thought stimulates an emotion, right? This is, this is psychology 101 or quantum physics 101 or success and self-help 101, right? Every thought stimulates an emotion. Thoughts of gratitude. Thoughts of gratitude allow you to connect to the vibration of joy and life. Life is joy. And when you give to life, you're going to receive joy. And guys, I'm going to end this video. Like I said, this is going to, this is a 30 minute video and I've provided, I've, I've now provided more value than that guy's seminar ever will. And I'm doing this for free. 
And I'm not saying that to brag. I'm letting you know this is very powerful information, guys. Rewatch this video every day, all of you people that are just starting your lives. Rewatch this video at least once a week or every day for 21 days until you can start to build the paradigm and habit. Your life in just one year, you will quantum leap like I have done. Where I meet people that I haven't seen in one or two years, and they look at me like, why are you staring at me, you creeper? Do I know you? Why are you staring at me like you know who I am? And then they go, oh my god, it's Luke! Guys, re-watch this video every day for 21 days until your, your subconscious mind rebuilds the habit. That's, that's the rule, right? I don't throw a lot of technical stuff at you guys, but that's that's the technical rule. Watch this video for 21 days, and for all of you young people, or even people that are just wanting to improve your lives, and oh my god, guys, in one year, you will, you, oh my god, you will be so much healthier, you will be so much happier, you will be, I mean, you will be unrecognizable. You will be a completely new person, and it will be the most beautiful moment of your life. And I'm about to dive into writing real goals, right? Now that we have the most important part understood, I want you, now that you understand this part, which a lot of the self-help gurus nowadays, even the original big four back in the day, they did not teach this because they were just as insecure themselves and didn't even understand this. That, the part I just taught you for 20 minutes for free. And I teach it for free because it's very important. And now I'm going to dive into what a lot of them might teach in some form that's just as powerful that I've mastered myself, which is writing real goals. How you write real goals, guys. And how you do this, like I said, it's not I want to increase my sales. That does not give your subconscious mind a direct command. The more you understand the thing between your two eyes, the more you're further you're going to go in life. And I just told you about the creative mind, which separates us from the animals. And it's, it's very sad how only for so long one family that owns all of the news and the media, right? These handful of, you know, old white people or excuse me, that was that was a bad whatever they are. Right. That's not important. That was that was a bad um, label. Excuse me. But anyways, you get the point. Guys, however, you understand this. What's between your head you will go further and You have to give your subconscious mind that's between your head a direct command guys when You like I could I will tell myself before I go to sleep I want to wake up at 8 30 and I'll or 7 30 and I'll be in the middle of a dream and My mind turns on I wake up at 7 30 You're I, I just told you earlier Guys, when you let the wheels turn in your head and you're designing your own life, right? You're not being an insecure religious, I'm not going to go there, but you're letting the wheels turn in your head for yourself. You're not being a fool. You can, like I said, we are just like the creator. We are created in the creator's highest image. Guys, I talked about this in my video, the subconscious mind and the missing piece between gravity and galactic and universal space, right? Very, very powerful and advanced things. Long story short, our subconscious mind connects to what some call the Holy Spirit. I call infinite life the unadulterated name. Our subconscious minds connect to all of life, right? We move the, the, the gravity and we move space. 528 hertz is not just on Earth. It's in outer space and the rainbows even. And our subconscious mind is what moves this. We are the galaxy. We are space. We are the creator. Just individual 400 trillion to one versions of him. Or her. There is no him or her. And guys, when you, you have to give your subconscious mind very direct orders. Because we tell our subconscious mind whatever the hell we want it to do, and it will listen. I want to improve at sales. What does that tell your subconscious mind? If someone, if someone asked you, hey, hey, um, I don't know your guys' names, but, you know, hey, go, go, go find me a, a bunch of lemons, 
and I'll pay you a hundred bucks. You know, just 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 go for an hour, right? And by the way, if any of you guys want to come to Arizona and do that, I'll uh, I'll I'll pay you. But I want oranges. Do it for an hour, and I'll pay you a hundred bucks. But the problem is, a lot of people are like, well how many oranges or how many lemons does he want? He just told me to go pick a lot of lemons. He just told me to go pick a lot of oranges. What does that mean? The subconscious mind is no different. And this is why people, like I said earlier, they message me and say, I have 15 years of experience. And I'm just like, well, okay. Like, what have you done in those 15 years? Well, you know, I mean, I was, uh, I was, uh, I was, uh, nothing. They're on year number one for the 15th time. And now a lot of people are starting to connect the dots and how, like I said, in just eight years, I was able to self-improve through 30 jobs. And not, that's not a bad thing. I was self-improving. You can call every one of my managers two weeks into my fucking job the sales managers were telling me, instead of criticizing me and telling me what to do, they were telling me that I was going to be taking their job in another month. You are no different than me. I'm not bragging. Excuse me. This is exactly what you can have. But you got to start writing real goals. And like I said, let's dive back in and finish this. Guys, I want to improve in sales. I want to have a better relationship with my, my, my husband or my wife or my son and my daughters. That's not going to work. I just told you why. Go pick 50, or, or excuse me, go pick a bunch of lemons. Go pick a bunch of oranges for me. Go chop down a bunch of firewood. Go bring back firewood. What does that tell you? Okay, so, okay, so go, go pick me 50 lemons. Okay, good. Now we know he wants 50 lemons. Go bring back enough firewood to start a fire. Okay. I want to have... I want to have, make love with my significant other, you know, one or two more times a week. I want the passion, you know, to take off and go back to when we were, you know, just, just married. Great. You've given me a number. We almost have a goal. But not quite. We almost have a goal. Energy is a beautiful thing, guys. Energy is all around us. Anyways, we almost have a goal. 20 grapefruits. 20 grapefruits. I got a lot more fruit behind me. <laughs> Anyways, guys, no more random things. But um, 30 grapefruit. Right? We, we almost have a goal. Go pick 30 grapefruit. Okay, it's not quite a goal. The subconscious mind knows or understands now, oh, we want to wake up at 7.30. But we're still missing one other piece. And this is where, this is where a lot of goal achievers, they're almost there, but they still sell themselves short. They may accomplish 30, 30 grapefruits, but they never, it, it's like, how long is it going to take? How long is it going to take me to pick 30 grapefruits? And this is where the guy I mentioned earlier, whose name I'm not going to mention, his ignorance falls short. When you write a goal, we are the creator. We decide when we achieve our goals. If you're willing to swallow your damn ego and stop saying, I've been teaching this for 50 years, let go of your bullshit ego and your dogmatic mask, you may understand that we are the creator. We decide the deadline. We are the universe. We tell the stars where to move and when to move. Through the vibration of love, of course. I go pick 30 grapefruits every single day and bring them back before 9 a.m., or excuse me, before 9 p.m., and I will, in return, give you $100 in cash. That's a real goal. There we go, guys. And now, after 30 minutes, you understand why this is a real goal. You understand how to apply it to where you're not going to be using it 
using the power to fill your insecurity because of the first 20 minutes I, I talked. And a lot of people may skip through that. That's fine and just skip straight to this part. But I highly recommend watching that 20 minutes to where you understand how to maximize this power of writing real goals. Guys, if you have a goal, excuse me. If you have a real goal that you want to be healthier and your goal is I want to drink one bottle of water every day for the rest of my life and in return I will donate 10% to a sea turtle rescue nonprofit. And you put this in your subconscious mind. Our subconscious mind is purely ran on emotion, aka energy. Oh, wrong side. This subconscious mind that's sending out energy to the universe through the frequency that connects all of us, it's going to come back to you. The physical world is an illusion, right? When you stare at the back of somebody's head, they turn around. You don't even need to touch them. Very, ooh, wow, excuse me. When I drive and I look at the back of someone's car all the time. You know, I, I can focus my energy very easily. They always turn around. They always swerve, right? And that's why I said in the first 20 minutes, I went on about you truly understand and love your soul on the inside. That's energy, right? You let go of all the empty sex and you start actually understanding and loving yourself. You start to understand and love real people. You let go. Of, you don't have to worry about dating a whore that's going to cheat on you. And guys... So, when you write a real goal, you're going to drink water every day for a week. And you're going to donate 10% back to animal rescues that help the ocean. You put this in your subconscious mind and you send this out to the universe. Oh my God! Guess what's going to come back to you? You're going to drink more than a... The universe is going to give you more than a thing of water. And this is why... I run as a nonprofit. This is why I give more than 10%. I don't support Tony Robbins and the whole 72 rule. That's complete bullshit. That's not going to help you. If you want to learn how to really invest, I message me and I'll teach you. Uh, but even then, you know, never have your never have your eye on money. Have your eye on real goals. Do you want to do you want to know a very This is another guys, I'm I'm dropping very I'm dropping bombs on you. These are fucking bombs. Rewatch this video all of you anybody wherever you're at in your life a goal a real goal does not it's not about money it's not about the money 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 is a symptom money is a factor of the actual goal the core the real peace gas in your car is nothing more than a piece the alternator, the engine block, the solenoids. What are some other parts? The battery, right? They are just a part of the car. The car itself is the entire goal. And so many people say, well, I can't buy a house. I don't have enough money. Oh my God. I want to rip out my hair. The money to buying the house is not the goal. You haven't made the decision, right? We've all heard you're one decision away from a completely different life, and you're like, eh, I don't know what that means. When you decide you want to actually achieve and write a real goal out, I just told you, we are the creator. It will happen. And guys, so you write out a goal. Let's say right now, guys, I'm going to get a lot more practical before I end this video. A lot of you guys, you write a real goal. Let me give you another example. I'm trying to think of a more more relatable one. Okay. So I want to, I don't want to go with sales. What, what's a more relatable and practical goal that you guys can relate to? Um, okay. No. God. It's been so long, guys. I'm sorry. I'm, I'm, 
I'm trying to go back in time. Let's just go with sales, okay? Adjust it accordingly to your your work. I want to. I want to, you know. Let, let's let's do something else, right? Let, let's do something a little more complex. And then if yours is more simple, you you can easily understand, right? How to how to apply it to your life. Let's say you have an app. You have an app that you want to design, and you want to develop an app. And you are just so passionate. This app is who you are, right? You already understand and love yourself. You're already connected to the vibration of love. You already understand how the creative mind works. Okay, well, this is where the creative mind comes into your goal, achieving. You have an app that you want to develop. And I'm, my phone's flashing, and I'm really trying to not look at it. You have an app you want to develop, right? This is your goal. Well, now it's time to turn it into a real goal. And this is my last practical example, like I said. Okay, so I want to create my app, Kiero. By the end of June, and I'm going to work on it every single week until the end of June, until my app is developed. And in return, I am going to donate 5% of all proceeds towards providing um, Wi-Fi to people in Africa. You have your real goal, right? And you are now committed. You've made the decision. Your life's about to change, right? You're now 50% there. Now, the issue becomes, have I mentioned money once? Have I mentioned money once? No. By the end of August, I'm going to develop Kiro, my application, and guys, change this to whatever goal you're trying to achieve, right? By the end of August, I'm going to develop Kiro by working on it every single week, and 10% or 5% is going to go towards giving Wi-Fi to third world countries. Now you write it down and when you write it down you are committing your subconscious mind you're committing yourself you write it down end of august 10 percent to third world countries done now this is where you apply your higher faculties imagination perception reason memory and perspective and, uh, excuse me, intuition, which is creativity, right? You get these creative voices, right? Your intuition just gives you these hunches and these inner voices. Now you do the planning. You have your real goal written out. Now you do the planning. This is what separates... Guys, when you go to war, if you were to go to war right now, and let's say, just, just imagine... Just imagine with me. I, I talk like I, I think it's easy for everybody to imagine. Excuse me, but I know it, it's just like every other higher faculty. We have to practice. But just for a moment with me, okay? Like I said, excuse me, but for a moment, imagine with me. You are a general at war. You have a million soldiers underneath you. Your goal is to win the war by the end of August, and you're going to be able to free your people from tyranny. That's your goal. The end of August, we have to win this goal by the end of August or our people are going to die. You have a real fucking goal, right? You need a plan. You need a plan. Life is war, guys. There's no game. There's no playing around once you truly understand and respect yourself, a.k.a. understand and respect your time, right? Because your time is you. Time is energy. That's how we bend time. Now, when you, you need a plan, and this is where so many people fall short. Don't fall short, <laughs> okay? Apply your perspective, apply your intuition and your imagination. How? Your perspective, our perspective that no other, oh, I lost one of the puppies. Oh, there she is. <laughs> but guys, your perspective allows you, like no other creature, to go through into the mind of somebody else and say, how would they look at this? Another synonym for perspective that you all may understand is awareness. The only thing that's ever missing in life is awareness, a.k.a. ignorance. That's what ignorance is. That's why people are believing this whole scare that's going on. They don't understand it was created by this one family. This power-hungry criminal family that owns all of the media and news. They don't have... 
they have they don't have the awareness to how the creative mind works that separates us from animals and they're just running around like Fred just soaking it all in with their <laughs> their masks oh my god so perspective allows us to look at things different how to come up with a master plan that's going to be beautiful right a master plan that's going to be beautiful with tons of details well how do you how do you put more perspective into your uh, your plan research research gain more awareness guys when i when i wanted to lose weight i lost 15% body fat in 30 days. And I'm, I, I mean, I lost literally 50, about 20 pounds of, of unhealthy fat in just 45 days. Oh, people are like, <laughs> and no, 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 go watch my video. It was a lot of work and a lot of research. And by research, I made sure the people I was watching were not a bunch of sleazy snake salesmen. I made sure the people I was watching had actual credibility. They didn't have to use their boobs to get people to watch their video. They had actual real shit up here. I made sure the people did not just have a bunch of fancy degrees where they memorized nicknames for their biceps for four or eight years and a bunch of history of the biceps. No, 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 no. I made sure those people had practical and real accomplishments from writing real goals. And then out of nowhere, there was tens of thousands of health gurus. Then there was only maybe five or six that I learned from. Now, I'll, I'll give you their names. Go watch my video that's in the description. Chris, Chris Hara, that guy's the real deal. Go watch his videos for all of you guys that want to lose weight. Sweaty Betty for all of you females. They're the real fucking deal. I then, like I said, when I got down to five or six real people that really actually had truthfully put in the time through complete righteousness and integrity to where they had complete, real, and true value to provide me, those five or six people, I sat there just like you guys are now, and I listened. I listened very deeply to everything they were saying through their eyes and really with an open mind. An open mind, an open mind is what connects you to abundance and prosperity. I very, very... I wouldn't do it now because I don't support these kind of, of institutions. But guys, I went to a guy that owned a very small group of people that met up every Sunday. And he was telling me, he was telling me they wanted to get more members. He said, we want more members of our church. I showed up and I said, I will run Facebook ads for free with my money. And the guy said, no, we have to talk about it. And he said, no. Oh my God, they want to sit there and pray to some religious God that this one family owns. And then I show up and I told them, hey, I'll run Facebook ads with my own money. And with a closed off mind, they, they never even got back to me. And they, we, we wonder, okay, I'm not going to go into religion, but there's a reason why I would never, like I said, where I'm at in my life, work with somebody like th those kinds of people. But guys, an open mind have an open mind like i said when you get to those five or six legitimate people that really understand what they're talking about right they have real value to provide you from here and here listen and understand what they're saying absorb it all in like a sponge with an open mind and then you now have more perspective for your own personal plan and now we all understand why earlier I said that guy had no idea what he was talking about despite wanting to brag that he's been in the industry for 50 or 60 years. Oh, God, I want to say his name so bad, but I'm not. Because like I said, I still have a little respect for him. But anyways, guys, put in the time. Do the research from credible sources. And when you make your plan, you don't even need a general. You don't need your generals in your army. This is why I work alone. I have a... I have go to people when I need a call on them that have spent, you know, their time improving their 400 trillion and one talents and gifts in other areas. But I don't need generals when I'm at war. I have all the perspective through awareness and studying of 
experts out there. This is how I lost 30 pounds without having a personal trainer. I'm at about 172, 173 now. I started at about 205. Just for you to know, I'm not talking out of my ass, right? Just for you to know, I'm not talking out of my ass. I didn't have one personal trainer. You don't need any coaches, any personal trainers for your health goals. You don't need, you don't need um, a success guru cheering you on. Let's just jump on a stage and we'll get through our problems. No, 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 no. What you need is time and commitment. What you need is research. Do you know how valuable those five or six people's times is, are? Do you know how valuable Chris Harris' time is? He's providing fucking free videos on YouTube. Oh my God. If you can understand and actually sit there with an open mind and understand what he's talking about. Oh my God. God, people, you now have just as much value as he has. And I'm not going to disrespect Chris Harris and say you, you are him, but you are very close if you actually watch all of his videos with an open mind and really pay attention. And then you combine in five or six other fitness experts that understand masters, and you create your own fitness plan for your real goal that you now have. Oh, my God. Guys, you will just slam through life. You will just... Life is going to be your you-know-what. This is, this is the most powerful video I've ever made, guys. This, this, I, I mean, guys, watch this video again. Replay this video. Watch the first 20 minutes about, you know, embracing yourself, embracing life, right, to where you are fulfilled, you are secure in yourself. And just like Mark Zuckerberg and Bill Gates said, you then focus on how can I make humanity and life a better place first, and then everything else comes after that. And you know what I mean by that. Guys, this video is over. I went, way, I went over the 30 minutes, but this is just, like I said, guys, this is how you write real goals. 30 grapefruits every day by this deadline, by this time, Go and pull out your pen and paper and say, okay, I am going to find the best and most accomplished, not experienced, I don't care the fuck how long you've been picking grapefruits, the most accomplished, great, valuable experience, right? Valuable experience or true valued grapefruit picker in your, my area and ask him, hey man, how did you do this? Guys, you will be astonished. Your jaw will hit the ground when you find out how many people, literally very best in their industry, are willing to at least listen, if not help you if you're persistent. They're not, their egos are not up in the sky like Kim Kardashian and Kanye West, right? They're not living some bullshit life, right, or, or some bullshit ego where they have no real value to provide you. No, 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 no before they file for bankruptcy, but guys, bef real people with real value that actually put in the time to, like I said, build their character, build their character, build their character, build their talents, perfect their craft, perfect their craft, right? Through the vibration of love, and then give. You will be astonished. These real people, not those fake people, they are so willing to help you if you actually come to them with genuineness and come to them with righteousness they will fucking help you if you are persistent. And I, you, so you go to the grapefruit guy and you say, hey, Mr. <laughs> I, I'm laughing because this is kind of silly, but it, this is the analogy. You go to Mr. Grapefruit guy and you say, hey, man, I knew a guy that picks plums. He was actually a pretty cool guy. But you go to Mr. Grapefruit guy and you say, hey, I want to pick 40 grapefruits or let's say 400 grapefruits every day until August. This is my goal. And you are an expert, right? I'm not a fool. I'm not a fool. I'm not stupid. H how did you do it? Can you tell me? And he, you will, be, he will say, well, I, I don't have time right now. But if you come back on Monday, I, I'll, I got 10 minutes real quick to, to give you some pointers. Oh, my God. People, guys, I'm telling you, go ask. And then he will tell you. 
and then go to the next grapefruit guy, right? That maybe is better and not better, but you accomplish in his own unique way. Go to grapefruit guy number two and say, hey, grapefruit guy number two, you're very successful and accomplished. You just don't have the years of experience, but you're actually accomplished. I want to pick 400 grapefruits every day until August. How do I do it? You'll say most likely, we'll come back later this afternoon when I'm on my break and I'll, I'll give you some pointers. You, you write them down. You're ready. Okay. This is how I do it. This is what I'm going to do. I really liked how he did this. I really liked how he did this. I really liked how he understood and told me why the other guy was wrong. I'm not going to tell that guy, of course, but I, I, he actually understood and told me why with scientific or facts. This is how I'm going to do it. And this is who I am, so I'm going to add my own little spin-off. Be original. Done. Whatever your goal may be, guys. I know now not everyone wants to pick 400 grape fruits. But whatever your goal is, I just told you how you do it. And you may need to get a little more creative. Me, myself, and I understand a lot of you guys out there, I don't like to... I don't, I don't, guys, I don't think outside the box. I recreate the box. I am not in it to think outside the box. I am in it to recreate fucking two boxes and then 7,000, 9,000 boxes. And then we go over 9,000. And how do you recreate? I, you, you get creative. You pull out your plan board. And this is to help a lot of you guys with bold ambitions, like myself, I've always had. You get your creative board, you got all your perspective, right? You, you, you did your interviews, you did your research, you got all your perspective now, all your awareness, and you're like, okay, now I am going to recreate the box. I am going to find a way to pick 600 grapefruits, even though nobody else has. Okay, what if I connected point A to point Z instead of connecting point A to point B like grapefruit guy number two did. What if I connect point X and Y to point B and C unlike grapefruit guy number one who was connecting point A to point C? I wonder what would happen. Let me experiment. Guys, curiosity is creativity. Let me experiment. I wonder, I wonder, I wonder, I wonder. The most powerful words that can ever leave your mouth when you got this in your hands. I wonder what happens when I connect these two. I wonder what happens when I connect these two. I wonder what happens when I connect these two. I got my hypothesis. Let's keep testing, testing, testing. And then eventually you now know how to pick 600 grapefruits. Creativity, perspective, and imagination. There's nothing you can't do. There's, we, we could create entire planets. Guys, if every single person alive in the world watched this entire video, and really until they understood it completely, we could, with all of our unique, all of your unique 400 trillion to one talents, we could be creating entire fucking planets together. We could actually be making the world a better place. This planet would, every issue would be gone like that. It's exactly how we're evolving now more faster than we ever have in the past. This is why I make this video for free, guys. This is why, this is why. Why is everything in life. For all of you parents out there, if your kid ever asks you why, don't ever tell them no. You're going reg to regret that in 10, 15 years. But anyways, guys. This is why I make these videos for free. Like I said, this is the most powerful 55 minutes that you will ever watch. This is how you write real goals, and this is what true value and real value is. Will you ever hear it from this one fa criminal family that owns all of the d dead news and dying media? No. No. Will you ever hear it from the schools that they propagate and own to fill their pockets even more? No. No. So I wish you all the very best, guys. I love you all. You know, that's why I'm making this video. You know, we all are life. We all have our own e equal contributions to make. And if I had watched this video when I was 18, oh my God, oh my God.
But, you know, that's why I am where I'm at now. I wish you all the very best, guys. Rewatch this video, all of you people, no matter where you're at in your life. And I guarantee you it will pay off. Share it with your friends, whatever you want to do. I wish you all the very best. I'm watching my mouse scroll over Zan in there who's sleeping in the background. <laughs>